everyone and welcome back to my studio. I think it's time to continue working on my Zodiac Dolls collection and today it's time for Aries. And I'm especially happy and especially excited because I am Aries myself. And it means that today I'm going to do whatever I want, really. All the features I'm going to pick up today will be just my favorite, my personal choice, things that I like most in real life and in doll life and doll career. But first of all, before we start, please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Please hit the bell button. We're done. Okay, then we can start. And as a model for this transformation, I have chosen this Laguna Blue doll. You know, lately I really adore Laguna's face sculpt, this very sweet and cute mold. So today, in my repaint for Aries doll, I'm going to use Laguna. The only problem with this doll, you can see she has this very black eyebrows, very black eyeliner, because this doll, it seems, used to belong to some young customizer. And I really hope it's not made with some permanent marker thing and I will be able to remove it with acetone. But we will know it literally in a minute. First of all, I'm going to remove her outfit. Voila, done, very easy. <laughs> And the next step is cutting her hair as short as I can. Then I'm taking the hair dryer and I'm warming up her head to make it soft and to melt the glue inside of it. Now the head has become very soft and I can easily pull it off. That's it, done. And then with my tweezers, I'm removing the rest of the hair from the inside of the head together with all this glue and whatever else is there inside. immediately such chunks of glue coming out and now let's take acetone and check if these black traces on her face can be removed like this yes and I'm very happy I'm very happy it goes easily off. It was probably made with some regular makeup, maybe with eyeliner or something like this, or maybe with acrylic paint. I'm going to give her this dark ginger hair. So to start, I'm going to cover her head with a couple of layers of burnt sienna acrylic paint. And when the paint dries out completely, I'm gonna give her this beautiful dark ginger hair. It's called Amaretto Nylon. There are a couple of reasons why I've decided to give this doll ginger hair. First of all, I love dolls with ginger hair most of all. And since today I'm doing everything what I like, this is my choice for today. The second reason is that I've never made before a Laguna Blue doll with ginger hair and with freckles. I used to work with Draculaura, I've made a couple of Frankie dolls I remember, maybe Gule also I've made once with ginger hair and with freckles, but never Laguna yet and since it's one of my favorite molds at the moment I really eagerly waiting to start. And the third, the last but not least reason is that Aries is actually of course a fire sign and that's why it would be very logical to put some extra fire to her hair color. So let's start. I've cut the needed length of the hair and now I'm going to fill in all these holes in her head. Normally this job takes a couple of hours, I begin like like now around 8, 9 in the evening and then I'm done around oh yeah, something after midnight, around 1, 2, sometimes even 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, let's take how long it's gonna take today. I 
And here is her new hair exactly four hours later. I've started at 9.30 in the evening and now it's already 1.30 at night. So it's exactly four hours with some short breaks in the middle. So now I need to add tacky glue inside of her head like always. Spread it there nicely with Q-tips and I will let it dry then for 24-36 hours. And while the glue is drying, I can start working on her body and first of all I'm going to cut off these fins on her hands, on her arms and I'm also going to fill in these holes in her legs using air dry clay. When the clay gets dry completely, I'm sanding the body to make the surface very smooth and to remove this glossy top from the surface. And I still want to change another tiny detail. Look, I don't really like this gesture. I don't think it really fits the concept of my doll, so what I'm going to do? I'm going to apply some glue to this pinky and fold it and attach it to another fingers. Now it looks like she gives thumbs up to this video. By the way, have you already given a thumbs up to this video? Don't forget to do it. And now I'm going to take my acetone free nail polish remover and clean up her body a little bit, remove all this grease and dust and everything that is here on her surface. And how's her head doing by the way? Let's check it out. I think the glue should be dry already. Yes, it seems completely dry to me. So I can now protect her hair and then spray both the head and the body with a couple of layers with light acrylic paint. So you see, I have prepared here very natural color and now I'm going to paint the doll's body and the doll's head using my airbrush. When I feel happy with the coverage, I'm going to spray this doll with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. And after this, I will be able to start drawing her face. And first of all, I'm going to sketch her eyes and eyebrows because the nose and the lips we have already, so we can start contouring them. But of course, for the reference, we should also have the eyes and the eyebrows as well. I'm going to draw quite big eyes this time. I know these big eyes look really good on Laguna Blue dolls. And I'm also going to draw already now the nostrils and the line between her lips, the corners of the lips, like all this area around her mouth. This doll will have ginger hair, so I have prepared here a set of very natural warm pastels. So I think I can start contouring her face with these pastels. I'm not going to create very dramatic shadows. She will have a very natural look. Yeah, it looks really good, so I think I can protect it now with a layer of Mr. Super Clear sealant. On the second layer, I'm going to use a little bit darker pastel. So look, on the first layer I use this one, and on the second layer I'm going to work with this color pastel. So I'm taking this a little bit darker color, and I'm making all the shadows a little bit deeper.
On the layer number three, I'm working a little bit more detailed on her eyelids, combining pencils and soft pastels. I want to give her eyelids a little bit more realistic dimension. First I'm making some sort of a background with pencils and then with soft pastels I'm going to blend a little bit the edges, make this layer a little bit more smooth. Also now on this layer I'm going to apply a touch of blushes to her cheeks and then I'm going to protect this layer with Mr. Super Clear again. On the layer number four, I'm going to work more detailed on her eyes and I'm starting like always with the white of her eyes. I'm going to give her very bright green eyes. I know it's maybe not that original, but I just love this combination of ginger hair and green eyes. Also, now I can already start drawing the waterline. And of course, I want to draw her eyebrows more detailed. And also on this layer I'm going to give her very juicy red lips. Yeah, I think this layer is done now, so I can protect it with the sealant again. On the layer 5 I'm mostly going to repeat all the same things we've just done on the previous layer because I want to get a better coverage of white, green and red pencil. So I'm going to do it all again and then I will seal it again with Mr. Super Clear Sealant. On the layer number 6 I'm going to apply shadows and highlights and I'm going to start with the grey shadows applied to her eyeballs. Then with the white pencil I'm applying the highlights to the irises and mainly to the bottom part of the irises. And then with this light pencil I'm going to apply highlights to the eyelids. And I also add highlights under the brow bone to the bridge of her nose, a little bit here to the middle of the forehead. Now let's work a little bit more detailed on her lips. And I start with applying shadows, mainly to the corners of her lips, between the lips this line is always darker. And then with the light pencil I apply also here the highlights above the upper lip, now I'm going to finish the second eye, then I'm going to spray it with Mr. Super Clear and after this I will repeat this layer completely again, probably off camera because it's basically the same, I will just have to build up the colors a little bit because this white will disappear for 70% after I spray it with Mr. Super Clear sealant. On the layer number 8 I'm ready to draw the eyelashes and also other tiny details with this very sharp black pencil like the eyeliner, maybe you know, some eye creases, a little bit the eyebrows. This layer I'm protecting with the sealant again, of course, and after this I'm going to add white reflections to her eyes using this acrylic paint. I'm doing it with this very fine brush and by the way guys, I've bought a whole bunch of new brushes, I will show them to you in a minute. <laughs> let's first draw the reflections. Okay, now let's talk about the brushes. I told you already before that I'm using mostly the brushes for nail design for working on my dolls because you know they're really fine and they're meant to be, they're made really for making some tiny designs on really on nails that are approximately the same scales like dolls faces and they're also quite affordable compared to the finest art brushes that are basically the same, made of the same materials, but they're sold in art stores and that's why they're much, much, much more expensive. So what I've got this time, 
This set of brushes you've seen already before on my channel. I remember I showed it already in some unboxing video because this is probably already my fourth or even fifth set of brushes like this. I really love them. Yeah, so I'm buying them again and again and again. I have probably still six packs of them in stock. Now this is another set. I didn't even open it yet. And here we have these five brushes also for nail design and look they would be just ideal for making doll makeup look they're really fine so you can really draw tiny details go to different like difficult corners and things like this you can remove this protection so this is another set and also for these four brushes, I'm already using them and you see here, <laughs> I already lost here this pretty top. So this brush I'm using most of all lately, it's really ideal for eye creases, for nose contouring, for lips, really super. This one I've just used for drawing the reflections in her eyes. And these two brushes, you also see I've used them already on Jessica a week ago when it was two weeks ago it's not sponsored i always buy all my brushes on aliexpress because yeah yeah it's another important thing i didn't tell about it yet but all these brushes they cost probably three euro together or something like this because this set of brushes cost something around one euro twenty this set of brushes is also something about one euro and these single brushes are probably about 50 cents or something like this so i will leave all the links here in the description box under this video i buy them on aliexpress it's of course takes a while to wait because it's the same like wish it's it's an online store from China, so you basically have to wait about two, three, four, sometimes even five, six weeks. It depends on like delivery services. But yeah, it's really worth it because I would say just one brush in from the art store would cost you two, three, sometimes even seven and eight euro. And yeah, here you can buy one brush for 50 cents or something like this. And like these brushes, they're probably 20 cents per brush and they work perfectly on dolls so really highly recommended okay let's move on i'm going to give this doll freckles so what i have to do now i'm going to seal her face now this acrylic paint is already dry these reflections in her eyes are dry so i can protect her face my work with the uh, three layers I think of Mr. Super Clear sealant because you know applying freckles it's always a messy job and I don't want to really mess up with this fresh and pretty face so let's seal this face with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and there is also another thing before I start applying the freckles I have to blush her body because you see how the face after all this blush looks next to the unblushed body so I would love them to, <laughs> to look the same and that's why I'm going to take the same palette with pastels again and I'm going to blush her body to make it look exactly the same like the face and yeah and then we're going to apply the freckles so let's start working <laughs> Okay, now I think we are ready to apply the freckles and I will need some plastic palette and acrylic paint. I'm mixing them together. And then I need to make this paint quite liquid and for this I'm going to add a little bit of this distilled water. It should be really quite watery. So I mix it very good to remove all the crumbles and pieces of paint inside. So I take the brush, I will need some flat synthetic brush and I spray this paint on this piece of paper. And yes, I get really nice tiny spots. So and now I'm taking the same brush, dip it in paint Try it again a little bit on paper to remove the excess and then I start spraying the freckles on. Yes, 
Then I take Q-tips, dip it in water and I remove paint from the eyelids, from the eyebrows and just maybe some messy spots but you have to act really very quickly because acrylic paint is gonna be dry in a couple of minutes and it's gonna be really difficult to remove it afterwards and now I'm going to apply the freckles to the doll's body using exactly the same technique Then I let both the head and the body dry and then I protect this paint with a layer of Mr. Super Clear sealant. Okay, now I can put the head and the body back together and then style her hair. You ask me pretty often how to remove this paint from the hairline. Very easy, I will show you in a minute. I'm simply brushing it off, you see? It's peeling off really easily. I want to give this doll two ponytails because I think it would fit her a little bit naughty character. And now we're going to make these ponytails more flat, like hanging more down, because like this it's not a very pretty hairstyle. And for this you can use our hot wash, but you know I don't like water here in my studio. Or hair dryer, of course, because you know it doesn't matter what you use, air or water, it's important to apply some temperature. And then after playing with her hair off camera for a while, I've ended up actually with two braids. I think it fits her amazingly. And now I can finally attach the false lashes and apply glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. And I always do it in the very end of my makeovers because these eyelashes are not heat resistant. So first I must style the hair and just after this I'm applying the eyelashes, otherwise they're going to melt in two seconds really instantly. Okay, now let's talk about her outfit. This doll is going to have all my favorite features and it means her outfit also should be like my favorite type. I don't know if it has something to do with the Zodiac, probably it's my personal feature, but I really love all kinds of soft and cozy clothes, you know, all kinds of soft pants, soft hoodies, and I love sitting so very cozy in my corner on the sofa or here in my studio and feel very protected and very good. I don't know, it has probably nothing to do with the zodiac, but anyway, I've asked my mom to make an adorable Kigurumi costume for this doll. And now let's take a look at her work in progress video. And this is how it looks in the end. Absolutely adorable, I think. Look at all these tiny buttons. And these ears, these stripes here. I think it's absolutely adorable. 
and my mom also has made a tiny friend for this girl because she's an Aries and because your life becomes double as cozy if you have a tiny friend to hug so here we have this adorable sheep it's so so cute, so fluffy, amazing. I've decided to complete her outfit with a pair of white sneakers. They always look extremely cute on Monster High dolls. And now I think it's time to put it all on the doll and take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, here is the Aries doll and I can tell you absolutely honestly that I can perfectly accept this girl as a representation of my inner self and this sheep as a perfect inner representation of my lazy fluffy cats. And I hope that I'm not the only one here like this. Tell me Aries and not just the Aries. Just tell me guys, what do you think about this doll? And by the way, let's check also how many of us Aries we have here on my channel. My birthday is by the way on the 8th of April and we have here more people born on the same day. Please let me know in the comment section because I'm really curious to know about more people born on the same day like me. Yeah, and this doll will be available for sale for three days on my eBay. The link will be in the description box, so you can go check it if you want. And now let's still make an instant picture of this doll to decorate my whiteboard. And now I want to wish happy birthday to all the Aries here. Have fun, guys. It's our time, finally. And I really hope you enjoyed this video today. And if so, please don't forget to put your thumbs up. And also, of course, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. Because the next week, Friday, we are going to continue working on Disney princess dolls. And I think it's gonna be fun. So, I will see you already very soon. Have a fantastic weekend. Love you guys. Bye.